Okay, I made it at 10.20, which is actually pretty good. I thought I was going to make it at 10.15. Well, actually 10.30. I was guessing two hours from the turnoff, where it said I had two miles uh, to go. So I was thinking 10.15 plus 15 minutes. Off of the distance is Weaver's Needle and the Flat Iron. I'm sure there's a lot of people in that vicinity today. Oops, sorry. Flat Iron. And over here is the uh, Four Peaks. The camera works pretty pathetic. Sorry about that. Well, we've got a little bit of downhill here for a while. Um, then we'll start swinging north again. Kind of up and down a little bit. Until we come to the intersection with the wind gate. And I think that's 0.9 miles. Uh, I'm not sure of the elevation gain. I'm thinking 600 for some reason. But I can't remember. And then mostly downhill from there. A couple little hills after that. Temperature is still nice. A little bit of breeze. And hopefully the banana I ate will rejuvenate me. So I'll get a wooden gate without any real problems. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Was that a big lizard? Ooh. Yep, big one. You're a big guy. Wow, look at you. You're huge. I think that's the Eastern College. Just like this shot here, huh? Actually, I didn't like that better, so I'm going to have to turn my movie off and go back to the picture taking. Well, between the lizard and that saguaro, and there's a bird over at his nest now. I'm not getting very far. You can hear the bees.
hope I can hear a singing bird, but I can't see it. Free birdie. Free birdie. Well, the shot I was hoping to get won't work. I was hoping to pull the sorrel next next to weavers, but it won't work. There goes one bird. Don't know who's singing to us. Oh, looky. We have blooming prickly pear. Awesome. Yay. See, it was worth it to continue just for all of this, even if I don't get home till midnight. Yeah, I'm exaggerating, but. Isn't that pretty? Bunch of prickly pear here. Look at that. I'll be there too. Yep. And it could take me a while. Gorgeous. The dreaded nets. Okay, is this all it for the prickly pear show? Needless to say, I'm making good time, but mostly because it's downhill, of course. Straight ahead of you is the Four Peaks. The far left one is Brown's Peak. It is possible to do the, all four peaks, called the Mother Load. Unfortunately, not in my cards, although I think it'd be a blast. I think the last time the boys from Haz were up there, they got great pictures because the clouds were just right on them almost. So sometimes you have to live through other people's photos. I think I have a nap. Oh. Turkey vulture out there. Dow Peak. Kind of the Tom Sum area looking up at the east end. That would probably do me in for the day if I had to go up east end. I wonder how long that loop is if you go from up Bell Pass up to the east end, which is somewhere over there. I think it goes to the left. You follow the trail there and then it'll go up the left through, up through the gap. And then up to Tom's Sum and down. I would think it'd have to be around 15 miles. I don't think we're too far from the Wingate Pass intersection. Four peaks. Yeah, I see a sign up there. Okay. I'm almost halfway up the Wingate Pass Trail. Coming up from the east side. Feeling much better. So I'm thinking the banana really helped. I do like my potassium. Apparently so does my body. Although my ear keeps plugging up, which drives me crazy. 
and we're heading that way. Have about a half mile left, I think. Let's see. Yep, about a half mile left, give or take. We're on the other side of McDowell Peak now. Almost there, as they say. Lisa think I am almost there. Have a better idea when I get around this corner. <clears throat> really, it was a piece of cake. However, it is a lot easier than coming at Bell Pass, but still. I didn't feel the need to stop once. As you can see, it's right up there. Just past that yellow tree, and you can see the fence line. Well, I can. I doubt that you can through the camera. But it's nice to see the Palo Verde still trying to burn. Burn, I mean. <laughs> Bloom. I can even see the sign now. Or is that a cactus? Yeah, I think it's the sign, or the pole, I should say. <laughs> 